Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm gonna show you an easy way to use the gamepad to navigate a UMG menu. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by creating a new directory called gamepad UI. I'm gonna put my widgets inside. First let's add my custom button widget and another widget which is gonna be my menu widget so let's start with the button first let's remove the canvas because I wanna be the button as my root component also let, uh, let's add the text and let's rename this button to my button I want to bind the text value to a variable so we can change it later so I'm gonna promote this to a variable I'm gonna call it menu text and compile oh also don't forget to open the side now let's add some code to our button let's go to the event graph so what's gonna happen here is we're going to check if this button have any keyboard focus keyboard focus for works for both the gamepad and keyboard so let's gonna use it has keyboard focus we're gonna branch and don't forget the button here so because we're checking the focus on the button not the widget so now if we have focus on our button we have, we're gonna change the style how it will look so let's do this once we don't need to do it every take so I'm having my button here let's set the style to whatever we want I'm gonna promote it to a variable I'm gonna call it focused style let's compile so we can access the default values so I want it to be oh, something between blue is good I want it to be blue when focus and I want it to be red when clicked so this is good okay now we're gonna do the same thing when it loses focus we're gonna set the style to the default one so I'm gonna copy paste this this will branch from false of course and I'm gonna promote it to another variable I'm gonna call it default style compile so we can change now the default color I want it to be hmm, some something gray like this hit ok compile now we want these two to reset each other so it won't happen every time this sticks so I'm gonna, this is gonna reset this anyway it's not focused it won't reset and this should be good now let's go add some code to our menu I want a vertical box Now let's go add our user created widget and let's add three buttons. Set them to fill. Something like this. I want the first button to be my button new game. The second one button options 
and the third button exit oh, also don't forget to set the text for it new game options don't worry if they didn't if it didn't change in the graph because it will change in game exit compile now the final steps we're going to add the widget to our uh, character so event begin play okay we'll start by creating the widget UI menu now let's add it to the viewport and set the input mode to UI only UI only actually not input mode UI. so the trick here is that we want the first button which is new game I think yes new game we want it to be the focused button by default so we're going to access our menu and get our button new game now this is but the btn new game this is the button widget now we need to get the button inside the button widget which is get my button and we're gonna set it as a focus this needs a player controller so get player controller and that's it it should work like this so and there you go I'm using my gamepad here and when I when I press it changed to red however it's not done yet because we need to set some actions when we press the button so let's get to that let's go back to our UI menu well the problem here is this is actually a widget and not a button so we do not have access to the on clicked and pressed events here like this one we do not have access to these so we're gonna have to access them using code in the graph so let's go to our UI menu let's start with our new game button This should happen in the event construct. Uh, this is like the constructor for the widget. So let's get my button and assign an unclicked event to it. And here we, I'm just gonna print some strings here to test it out. Let's say starting a new game in green and do the same thing for the two other buttons. So I'm gonna copy paste these. One, two. gonna get my other two buttons options actually this is a set I'm not get options and exit I have to rename these because they don't they can't have the same name so I'm gonna call it on clicked options and this on clicked exit I want this to print opening 
V options menu. And in orange. Oh, yellow. Okay. And this one. In red. Exiting V game. So let's test this. Play. This is my menu. Starting a new game, opening the options menu, and exiting the game. And that's it, we're done. However, there is a small problem with the mouse here. So when you click outside the menu, you're gonna lose the focus from the gamepad. And you can't have it back with the gamepad unless you click again with the mouse on one of the buttons. So there is a quick fix for this, but it's gonna be for another video, so see you then.